I'm I'm still in love with this theme song so damn much. Oh well, my Fox Ryan, so they name it Fox, put that over there. And uh Ghost of Molly McGee. Um this is gonna be a two parter. So one it's funny because this episode technically bleeds into the, the episode that follows it. Um one because of the one, I saw the entire show on Disney Plus. Go check that out as well as the Owl House as well as Amphibia. That way you know the shows get ratings. Um, the only reason why I'm using this website right now for this is because I would use Xfinity, but them a-holes have something where my OBS can't pick up the video, even though I'm not trying to steal your shit, I'm trying to review, but beside the point. Um, this is getting the band shell back together, um, and there's also a part of, I, this, this is a show, this is... These two episodes, because again, like I was watching, um, I, I was on Twitter, and so I was like, "Man, Molly McGee really feels like a like I guess I don't know, like I guess they're saying an old fashioned. I don't know what the mean they meant by it, but like yeah, like where it's all episodic, there's no overarching story. Though the creators have said that there is going to be slightly an overarching story, which again, Owl House, uh, Molly McGee, uh, Amphibia, like they're very episodic but i'd say they still have an over they obviously have an overarching story still this is the first episode where i'd say yes there is definitely in there is definitely continuity between the episodes and i i actually really like it um also i i'm just gonna say right now i guessed one bit of this episode and also i love this like but this this episode and the next episode are kind of like that. And also, um, uh, but um, yeah, so this is an episode that is technically, I, I would say, the, the first one to have continuity between the first episode and the second episode. And then also, uh, I'm trying to think of a way to say it. Like, it's also kind of still building up more of the lore of it. Like, again, at least for me, I, I think it is. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but like... Like, uh, the Har Harriet one shows, like, a spec... I've been calling them specters, you know, a vengeful ghost. Uh, you have, you know, someone dies, immediately becomes a ghost. Um, in this one, they actually kind of bring up a little, uh, where is it, around here? They actually kind of bring up that Scratch can't be seen by everybody. Right here. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. This. So, I guess the rules are the ghosts can make whoever they want see them? Because I thought it was just, okay, anyone could just see the ghost, but I guess not. I guess not. Um, so, yeah, so, in either case, uh, this episode basically, they, they, these guys hang out at a senior center uh, to, uh, what is it? Shit, I can't remember what the hell it's called. Um, to help the community, community service. Um, to, they do community service at a senior center, which immediately when they said senior center, I'm like, well, one of these seniors are going to die and become a ghost. Also, I feel like that guy that just popped up on the screen for like a millisecond. Him. I'm pretty sure he's a reference to the up character. I don't know if I'm sure if it's the case, but he kind of looks like him, like jacket wise and everything. Head wise, obviously not. But, but yeah, they're all. Yeah, they're volunteering at Senior Center, and Molly talks to the one old resident, talks about the band shell, a place that, uh, you know, they would be able to listen to music. Uh, we all make mistakes. <laughs> oh, <the> motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really liked that dude on a motorcycle. Uh, and I like how Molly immediately knows what she meant. Like, okay. Hey, I think that guy with the napkin is cheating. You mean he's also cheating? I was looking for sympathy, not <laughs> judgment. Also, I'm going to say this right now. I really love Molly's character. In the next episode, it kind of brings it up a little bit more. Um, but Molly, unlike a lot of Disney characters, or Disney main characters, they aren't just a ray of hope and sunshine. She isn't just a ray of hope and sunshine. One, she obviously knows that she is dragging Scratch the hell around <laughs> against his will. And two, um, she's not delusional. Because th this whole episode basically... This whole episode basically is, you know, her wanting to rebuild this bombshell, bombshell, uh, this, uh, 
ban shell so you know the community can be happy again and i like that again it's slowly building up the whole idea of that brain is a very depressed place and you're gonna see that a little bit later is a very very depressed place but molly is slowly making it better and obviously that's going to go against what scratch's whole job is I get it. Everyone, people like pineapple. I don't. I also, I'm not gonna lie. Like this also sets up again something that happens between the two episodes. We're gonna continuity. Is it right? It's right here. That because I love found family trope. And I'd like that in this case, it's not, you know, in the sense of lose or, um, lose or, uh, well, I guess it kind of is, but it's not a sense of lose or and, where it's like a found family with a, it, with their new family. It's who's, you know, the main character had finding a new family. It kind of is, but Molly adopts, or uh, Molly and the McGee's adopt Scratch into their family. And I like that. It, it's Scratch finding a found family instead of Molly and, you know, finding her thing. Even though it kind of is still, because, you know, Scratch is finding Scratch, but you get what I mean. It's less, it's more the entire family is adopting Scratch rather than the other way around of, you know, uh, the main character adopting the family in a sense, I guess. Um, and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, not saying I have a problem with the other way around, but you know it's cool seeing that flip, and also that. Uh, what name icon, baby? Uh, also, I like that he he actually kind of hangs out or likes hanging with out uh, with the brother too. Are you sure? Cause I thought your last name was. <laughs> I again, that's that's cool. It's not just again something like Grand Ventures of Billy and Mandy, which again I like that show. But it is very, that show is one very episodic. There's very little continuity between them, which you know, love or hate that. I prefer continuity between them. Uh, I, I, ever since Adventure Time, I like the idea of there being a bigger overarching story, but also that you know, there can be episodic episodes. Mind you, people then confuse that with filler episodes, which those it, filler is only done when for anime, when you know, there's push between like when you need to space things out because the next chapter hasn't come out yet this for this show unless they're doing it because they're just like eh, it's to build characters it's so that they like okay yeah i like this character i want to you know and give me a minute sorry but like those shows were episodic and the characters never change or grew and i i i also i'm probably gonna blame shows like family guy and simpsons for also making me kind of dislike just episodic shows but i like when there's continuity when characters grow and change and scratch yeah like if this was let's say grand ventures uh scratch would not like the kid uh scratch would be the same character he was at the very beginning of the show and at the very end of the show like there's there would be no change in character but you see that like no He's growing to like staying with the McGee's, and the McGee's have like straight up accepted him as part of the family. Uh, but, and, but yeah, and like I don't know, I, I prefer continuity, and I like that. And also like this whole, and also like basically, then again, obviously, quick rundown, I guess. Even though I'm like what ten minutes in already, Jesus Christ. Um, Molly is helping out with this obvious. Molly is like, well, I you know we're gonna take it to the city council, and we're gonna get this thing approved. Say that the kid is to cancel and completely just says the most ridiculous outlandish thing possible. Which, again, usual Disney fashion, this is what the main character would try to do. Would try to set, set up just a big mega arena like this thing says. Like, oh, like let's her, let her describe a little bit of it. Uh, I'm not going to try to get copyright strike because I, I did for the last Molly McGee. I <laughs> love this. Oh shit. See, again, 
This is the most basic Disney character kind of idea. Is that Pat Oswald too? But sadly, a sixty thousand seat mega arena is too big for a small town like Brighton. Thank you, and we do hope you'll come back someday with something a little more realistic. See, I like that because again, this is fu this is messing with your expectations. Because then. Because as soon as you do that, I'm like, all right, well, is she going to then go and, like, get them? Like, nope, complete, cut, mess with those expectations. Nope, she actually, she knew that wouldn't get approved, and she knew to put, to have the big thing first to then let the little thing get through. Like, if, if anyone's ever seen the Animaniacs, um, they, like, they talked about how they made that show, and they're like, oh, yeah, whenever we had like really raunchy or dirty jokes in that thing and we wanted to like adult jokes like we first would put in like the worst most horribly possible joke you could get in there that would in no way get past the censors when they're trying to get past the censors that way then when they come up to this other joke that we really want in there they're like okay yeah that's fine at least it's not that one like this is actually a tactic and uh, script writers and animators use to get past censors. So it makes sense that it's used in this context as well. It's like, yeah, of course they're not gonna say, of course they're gonna say no to the first proposal because you know it's the government wanted to spend, make them spend money. But uh, but no, Molly's like, y yep, psych, I got this. Even though they still say no, but yes, yeah, just FYI. But uh, yeah, and then obviously. He's, Still says no. And then another miss of expectation, but also kind of shows how good of a character Molly is, is when they say no. You know, mom takes away the donut they brought. No, mom. I can keep the donuts. Let them feast on the carcass of a young girl's dreams. <laughs> feast on the carcass of young girl's dreams. I'm sorry, Disney. I, you saying the Owl House isn't part of your brand when you have amazing shows like Molly McGee too that are have some dark names or say sh or say stuff like that come on and then again Grim Adventures Grim would just laugh at Molly and just and just be like <laughs> and they'd have a whole scene of him laughing at him for like th her for three days uh and maybe feel bad about it probably not uh, no, I think Billy or Mandy would then, like, grab him and be like, Welp, we're gonna use you for something to fix this. Uh, but no, Scratch does care about Molly, and I like that. It's only, what, episode five, technically? Because there's technically three episodes out, but split, but well, you know what I mean. Um, and also, again, a little bit of the lore going on. All right, I already brought this up, but yeah. No, they can't see Scratch. For whatever reason. Uh... And then here's this whole thing, which I saw a little bit of the animatic before Molly came out. Oh, there's that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was this bit that's in the animatic. But this whole bit where she sings an entire song, which I'm not going to do because I'm gonna sure I'll get co copyright hit for it. Um, her just raising money so they can build the place herself. One is really cool, but also I feel like also they're slightly robbing them. Because they're like, yeah, sell your TV. Sell your... Sell your car sell all this do all this to help us but also i will like uh, that at this point and again balance wise i like that again star i think compared again to another character star verse star butterfly i feel like if she did this she would just straight rob him them and like even if it was the food bit they're like ah you don't need that uh molly she's like no yeah you're right you do need to eat here here's some money back <laughs> though they are saying like yeah do you, like <laughs> sell that i'm sure that's that work this is the part that was in an animatic True, but also 90% of pollution is caused by giant corporations and factories and stuff. 
I think it's like is it like 90 is it 90 or 99 95 it's around it's in the 90s I know that for certain but yeah I, I again and I like this because it is in a sense a, a kind of a you know a way to you know help community community help each other so and you slowly see again Molly is actively trying to help the community and that's kind of thing that scratch is trying to you know make bad kind of or or the happiness deplete so again, you kind of see like, yes, like the overarching story is like, you know, making Brighton a better place. And obviously this is gonna negatively affect Scratch later on, even though he doesn't realize it yet. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna set up, you know, whatever drama that's gonna happen down the line. Also, this part is amazing. Figured the fundraising's over. Your hero has arrived. Uh, where did you get so much money? <laughs> I also like how he, Scratch. wait. Well, you know, I'm pretty good at numbers. Not only did he rob a bank, it's that he robbed a bank that had bags that had the giant money symbol on them. I get it, it's a cartoon, but I just find it a little bit more funnier that it's just like, yeah. Molly McGee, do you really think so little of me? <laughs> Or that there was a fun, or that there was a die back in the money bag because yes, that's what would happen. Even though I always wonder, like, how do the, how do the, the the people, like, like obviously those die packs are like in the money thing stuff like that. Like, is there a thing that deactivates the die pack from exploding, or is it just like if you know it's there, you can just reach it and grab it to take it out? Like, I always wondered how those die packs kind of worked. Like, I, you always just see in the movies that they open it up and poof! Oh, God, my face is blue. Um, which I'm now realizing why this isn't blue is because he's blue, so it wouldn't really make too much sense or would look too good. But, um, yeah, like, I, was, I, I always kind of wondered how that worked. You'd probably Google it. And then again, I'd probably put it on a list. But, uh, yeah, I always wondered how that worked. But, yeah, that's it's amazing. Yeah, accuracy, die pack. It was the credit union. It was the credit union. I didn't catch that. I thought he said it wasn't. It was a. So he didn't rob a bank. He robbed the credit union. Amazing. Which also isn't that. A, I don't know. Do you really think so little of me? It was the credit union. <laughs> I thought he's just straight like yes. I robbed the place. Take it back. Take it back. I. Love Molly so much, and my headphones are in backwards, so I heard Molly going that way. So I saw Molly going that way, but I heard her going that way. <laughs> that's a shit. That's a lot of money. Um, also, uh, again, a little bit where Molly is like, "Yeah, we can't build this by ourselves." I mean, why do they make shoes for us? That's true, though. That's talking about babies. But yeah, yeah, Molly has all this money. She's like, "We can buy the materials, but we can't hire workers." But She's like, and obviously can't build it herself, which, again, other stories, they would try to build it themselves. You're right about one thing, Scratch. We can't build the band shell ourselves. I'm glad you're finally coming around to reason on this one, Molly. No, I mean, we can't build it alone. Oh, no. I don't like that face. <laughs> it reeks of hope. <laughs> I love that line. I hate that face. It reeks of hope. <laughs> what if the whole town pitched in? Oh, stop turning wheels in Molly's head! <laughs> we'll have a community work day! No one's gonna work for free! I, and again, that, something I really love about this show is, yes, Molly is very hopeful, and again, she, but not to a blinding fault, which you'll see in the next episode. Um, she is very, very hopeful person, and I love that. She also is kind of, kind of, I, uh, I don't say realistic, but like she, like what if there's like no plans and stuff, she does like well, crud. Like there is some sadness like to her, or again, I don't know. There's a good balance, and she does think these through and is smart about it. Which I love. Yes, they will, because people. And also, like again, that hopefulness of like yes, people will come to help. Especially one thing that, which I find that really funny that she says that when the first person we meet, I think pretty much describes Brighton, or when she's trying to collect money, describes Brighton perfectly. Yes. Just straight depression. <laughs> How Libby is a perfect example of just straight depression. But, 
as we'll see later on, it kind of gets a little bit better. But uh, let's see here, right here. Also, she, I, I want to see who the voice actress of her is. Like, that's not, that is not Molly McGee. Why on earth is she in the, what? Fibber McGee and Molly, no, what? Ashley Birch. Ashley Birch and Eden Share somewhat sound a little bit familiar, or maybe it's just the characters or how they're written, but they sound, she sounds very much like Star Wars, and I think it's just maybe the, the way Molly speaks. There's a slight difference, yeah. And then you'll see my famous you dance. <laughs> I've I swear I've seen the same pick in like Star Wars is the same image. <laughs> That's not cringy, trust me. I've seen the Mar I've seen the 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 rebooted uh, or the the animated the the latest animated Spider Man movie or show and they do a robot dance in that. I'm just like, I, mm. <laughs> I'm like, no. Community work day, which, you know what? Again, I like this. And again, Molly again, it, right, it's about here that like Molly is like, yeah, yeah, they'll come, they'll come. And See, she knows. She knows. Like, she's just like, yeah, no. Like, I, 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 I know. I understand. No, they're not coming. Like, she's hopeful. She's, but she's not, she's also not stupid. <laughs> she's hopeful, but she's not blinded by that hope. She's like, yeah, I, I understand. And also, it could, could kind of show like that, how just how depressing Brighton kind of is. That it kind of takes someone who's very hopeful, kind of like knocks them down a little bit. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm, well. It is a bad thing, but like I'm not saying that like oh yeah that's a good thing. Like no, I'm saying that in the sense of just showing how dire of depression Brighton is. Oh, excuse me, coming through, boy. It's so crowded around here. Hey, Mal, how you doing? Oh, sorry. You know, I was trying to remember and then, who it was that was gonna do the told you dance. And again, this little bit with Scratch too, just to show how much he. The show is something. Let's hear. Jesus. No fun if you're gonna be. See, like it again. Grim Adventure Billy Mandy would laugh at Billy or Mandy for like five days, and you see like the woo, 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 of the sun and moon spinning around. Scratch is like, no, like you, you know, you're you're depressed, and that's literally making me depressed. Tough break, Mal. I'm not, I'm not really see, and he even tries to help her. I like that. I'm just gonna give you one of these. Tries to be emotionally supportive. Obnoxitron, that's what it was. The the thing that makes noise. And again, I went honestly when the seniors came up, I legitimately went, oh, Yes! <laughs> I was legitimately happy. And then I like, I like that e, this girl is nuts <laughs> but also again a little bit more lore wise yes Scratch is not letting them see at least then here's a whole little montage of them building things which <laughs> and then again more continuity with other past episodes too uh, the Lemmings as well as I thought these guys would just be one off characters but I'm pretty sure they're still going to be background characters which also I guess she was technically in the camping episode but the Lemmings are coming back from a game and I love that I love that. I love that a lot. And also, I will say this this part, this this right here, this literal part had me dying. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> also, I just realized the song goes, Oh no, that man's deceased. I, 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 as soon as I saw the seniors, I'm like, someone's gonna die today. <laughs> Also, he kind of reminds me, he looks like he would be the child of, um, of the guy from Up. Actually, he looks like him and the guy from Up are the children of Eustace and Mer- Mer-, Mer The lady from Courage the Cowardly Dog. 
the, the guy in that he looks like that would be their kid mm. years later old he kind of looks like uh i can't remember her name the the lady from curse the cowardly dog but uh uh but like when she was a baby also rest in peace for voice actress Hell yeah. And as he scratches, also helping, which he's doing what he said he wasn't going to do. Help with the community service. I like that. Again, you see Scratch's character kind of developing. And then you even see again, like, she's happy that this. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, we tried to make it match the original as close as we could. Oh, not this. This. Also, I'm wondering if Molly got the right permits, but the mayor says, I, I, it's okay, so all right. This is the Brighton I remember. Again, the overarching story of that Brian is a very depressed and terrible place to live, and it's slowly becoming better. It's slowly becoming a nicer place. People are getting together, and I like that. Um, and the, then towards the very end, it's like, <laughs> I love this. Look at Molly McGee. But yeah, I I love it. I, I this show is amazing. I love it. Um, prepare for part two. Uh, I'm gonna do part two, two parts because one, obviously, again, like I said, it's not on this website yet that I'm watching it. Why well, not? Rephrase that. I'm watching it on Disney Plus or Xfinity, but it wasn't on Xfinity when I recorded it but it's on disney plus the first three episodes well six technically because you get what i mean um but i on this website that i use to review them uh i don't have you know i don't have the other episodes to upload yet so that and also because i'm gonna go get my eyes fixed tomorrow so i'm gonna be in excruciating pain for maybe a week so probably more um, so I might not be uploading certain videos or I might do a backlog of some videos I've had. So be on the lookout for some of those. I'm sorry. Any suggestions, you know, leave them in the comments, I guess. But again, I'm going to get my eyes fixed. So I'm not going to be able to see for three days. Um, as well as, uh, you know, uh, be in pain. Lots and lots of pain. So yeah, but thank you so much for watching. Please check out. Uh, go check out the show. Go check out the mysteryshack.com for some cool merch on... Not my not my merch. I don't have any merch. But they have some cool stuff like Yow House and stuff like that. Not the stuff that was uh, these two. Um, and, oh, three actually. Four. But yeah. But thank you for watching. Check out the videos. Hopefully you enjoy this. They also have... Uh, well, not this shirt, but... Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. Check out the videos. Hopefully you enjoy this. Please check out this show and check out the Yow House on Disney Plus also. That way, you know, they can... Make more of the Owl House, whether it be season four or, which I don't think is really the case, but, you know, prequel series, continuation afterward, who knows. But thank you for watching, your videos, hopefully enjoy this. And actually, if you anything, you could probably bully them enough. They could probably uh, be like, okay, you guys need to make a full season three. But I don't know. But thank you for watching, your videos, hopefully enjoy this, and we will. See you later. But yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I love this show a lot, and yeah, Molly's an awesome character.